Good morning and welcome to this week's Reset for Life moment. Let me ask you a question. What do you do when you come to a crossroad or an intersection where two roads meet? What you do is you make a choice, of course. Instead of just going straight, you now have the option to turn. And in turning, you go in a whole new direction. Perhaps that's what you're feeling needs to happen in your own life. Perhaps you need a whole new direction and a purpose. Maybe you need some change. It may be an important career choice or a relationship choice. It may be an addiction or a habit that you need to change. Maybe you're in a toxic relationship that needs to end. Maybe you don't like the way that you're handling your stress and anxiety. Maybe you want to be a better spouse or a father or a mother or a worker. Maybe you're an angry person and you know, you know, you know that that needs to change. Maybe you need to make some changes to how you handle your finances or the way that you process hurt and betrayal. When you feel this tug for change, it really represents a crossroads in your life and you may be unsure of what to do. Typically as humans, of course, what we do is when we're unsure of something, we continue to do the same thing that we've always done and that means staying on the same path without any change. The problem is this rarely gets us to where we want and need to be. It won't give us the change in our lives that we so desperately want. So what do we do? Well, the Bible has some real wisdom here as always. Jeremiah chapter 6 verse 16 says this, This is what the Lord says, Stop at the crossroads and look around. Ask for the old godly ways and walk in it. Travel its path and you will find rest for your souls. You know, all of the crossroads in our lives require important and wise decisions to be made, but none of them is more important than the choice to follow God or not. That's why God says, stop and look around when you come to these crossroads in your life. Don't just wander through life without asking the really tough questions and without seeking for the right answers. Know where you are and look at the options that are presented to you. From there, God says, ask for the old godly ways and walk in it. Now, many of course say that God is relevant, that God is outdated, that He has no meaning for 2020. I would suggest to you that if God doesn't have any meaning for 2020, then you got your head stuck in the sand. If there was ever a time that this world needed God's ways, it's now. If there was ever a time when this world needed God's provision and God's peace and God's love and God's promise for the future, God's value for all of human life, it's now. While God's ways may seem old to modern thinking, there's something to be said for a way that leads you to where you want and need to go. There's something to be said for an old godly path in life. Because old doesn't mean wrong, instead it means proven. Think of it like this. If the crossroads before you give you a choice to take a, a turn in life, it doesn't matter how old or how narrow that path is, because if it leads to life and health, if it leads to unconditional love and peace, if it leads to a new perspective on life and to a promise of eternal life, then who cares how old that path is? It's the destination, not the journey, that ultimately matters. The godly ways may be seen as old ways, but they are the right ways. When the ancient Egyptians were building the pyramids, they were using the same math that we use today. We haven't updated that math because it works. God's ways don't need updating because they work. They are tried and they are true as evidenced by the countless lives that have been positively changed because of them. You know, this verse is a reminder for us that when things aren't going well, we need to make a choice. Some of us need to choose God for the very first time. And others of us who are already Christ followers need to choose God again because we've gotten off track and we've gotten back into our own ways of sorting out things and living life. Whenever we do that, whenever we try and control the path that we are on, it's always going to end up in heartache for us. We need God's direction. We need His wisdom, His old ways that are still for us as relevant today as they were 2,000 years ago. I want you to notice that the reward for taking the path, godly path actually, that is old, is the, the path, excuse me, the, the right way is rest for your soul. It's a quietness within. It's a calm in spite of all that 2020 has thrown at us. Whenever we choose the old godly ways, we choose to travel the right path. We choose to follow God's direction for life. Then rest is promised for us. Rest from our wanderings. Rest from our drivenness to succeed or to be a somebody. Rest from our inner voices that tell us that we don't measure up or that we're ugly. God's rest isn't a physical rest, but a spiritual rest that completes us as humans. It brings us into a position of calm and security. 
His rest is really perfect. It's complete and it's all-encompassing. Yet it's only available to us when we choose to turn at the crossroads of life, to ask for and seek His ways, and to incorporate them into our lives and to make them who we are, not just what we are. I pray that as you journey through life, as you, as you wander through life and ask these important questions, that you'll keep these things in mind. Please don't pass the next crossroads of your life without considering God as the best option for your life. Let me close with a blessing from Numbers chapter 6, verses 24 to 26. It says this, May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show His favor and give you His peace. That's my Reset for Life word for today. Enjoy your day. God bless.